Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we are going to take a look at the final of these Dino Mania figures that I have currently to review for you all. And this one is their Mammoth. And I saved it for last just because it's one of my favorite figures that I've looked at so far from Dino Mania. Because there's one thing about this figure that I think is really cool and quite different than most times when you see a Mammoth figure. You normally see them presented in a brownish color and although this does include some brown, the majority of it is like a light gray. So maybe it's trying to insinuate that it's an older Mammoth. Or maybe it's just insinuating that in general the mammoth was gray and I really think that's very cool and very different. It's kind of something that I haven't really seen very often before as far as mammoths go so it kind of made me take note of this one a little more and really sort of like it a little more than a lot of the others. Not that any of them have been bad, it's just that one cool little factor of this figure was so striking to me that I really wanted to save it for the last one. But honestly this is one of the most adorable looking mammoth figures I think I've ever seen. So let's go ahead get a closer look at him right now. So as far as the head sculpt goes, the hair and fur detail is honestly really, really nice. You can see that very nice bump up here on the top of the mammoth's head, but you can also see the really nicely sculpted out ear, and in general the area around the eye, the eye socket is also quite nicely sculpted, but the hair looks really cool, and the fact that they, once again, included a nice dark wash really makes the hair jump out at you, and this beautiful light gray they've used really really gives this thing a very striking appearance you can see even certain areas have like thicker areas of hair kind of showing up here and there as we lead out the trunk you can see some nice creases here in the trunk as we head all the way out here to the tip of the trunk and that also looks really nice again really beautifully defined with that dark black coloration that dark wash but the sculpt in general looks really cool and again that nice fur detail also looks quite nice the detailing here on the underside of the trunk also is really nice and beautifully shown off with that dark wash. Even the inside of the trunk has the beautiful nostrils there and also shows you a really nice pinkish coloration, actually similar to what we see inside the mouth where he just looks super happy. You've got the tongue sculpted out in there, some nice detailing there on the roof of the mouth as well. And that's one of the areas where I'm saying he looks super cute. He just looks extremely, extremely happy. The eyes have like that kind of glass eye type of a look, but it's just a blackish coloration, but it does shine quite nicely, quite realistically. So that's really cool as well. The lower jaw also looks really beautiful as far as the sculpt and just the way it's opened. Nice, again, thicker hair right here. As we lead up here, you can see some nice detailing behind the ear and the fur detail continues to look really nice as we lead back the body and you can see it transitions to like a brown up here on the top so there is some really nice color variation it's not just entirely this light gray you can see it transitions really nice and gradually to a beautiful brown up here on the top and it looks really really cool very realistic looking you can take note to the spinal column of the animal and again the fur detail looks super cool really nice very thick looking fur like you would expect to find on a mammoth. The front leg sculpt also looks really nice. You can take note of the elbow right there and kind of the bone structure of the front leg and then once you get down here you can see the nails are painted pretty much the same as the fur as far as that light gray goes. And then here on the underside again you got lots of fur kind of hanging off. Lots of really really nice thick fur all over this mammoth. Up here you can almost sort of take note to the hip bone but it's not very present. Leading down here you can see the knee and everything and once again a very large kind of wide mammoth foot with the nails and the feet of the mammoth also look really cute as well. He's an adorable looking mammoth that is for sure. And then we come back here to the back of the mammoth and you can see the tail there sculpted out kind of leaning over to the side. He almost looks like he would be a baby mammoth honestly. Same deal over here, for the most part you're not going to see too much difference, at least in the head sculpt of the mammoth, because it looks pretty much exactly the same on this side as it did on the previous side. But as far as the tusks go on both sides, you can see they are painted with a really nice, kind of like a khaki-ish color, and it's kind of just been dry brushed on, and has a really nice gloss coat to it, so it shines like tusks really would so it does have that really beautiful dose of realism to it and again you can see areas where that black is kind of creeping through giving it once again a bit of a realistic appearance you can see the ear sculpted out over here also really quite nicely as we lead back the body the body primarily looks again the same as we saw on the previous side but the legs are in a slightly different position 
this leg is about to lift up and take a step or it's about to step down one of the two this leg is planted firm over here so that's the difference between this side and the previous side but you can see the foot sculpt again looks pretty nice nice fur detail all over the place even in the chest and under the throat the fur is just hanging off of this mammoth everywhere and then as we move back into the body again it transitions to that nice dark brown up there on the top and then down into the rear leg once again nice foot sculpt nice and chubby looking mammoth foot sculpt again kind of looking like it's a baby mammoth or something and then we'll take a look at the entire underside looks extremely cool especially with that nice dark wash included and once again made in Mexico and Dinomania there on the bottom but honestly I really love this mammoth definitely one of my favorites that I have as far as the size goes this is definitely the smallest of the figures next to the skeleton of the spino actually the skeleton of the spino is much longer than this but it's much smaller than a lot of them you're gonna see it in a height at about seven and a half inches or around 19 centimeters and then from the behind I guess you could say to the trunk about a foot or I guess you could say 12 inches or about 31 maybe almost 32 actually centimeters somewhere in that range for a size comparison there is Mr. Papo T-Rex the attack pack Colovasaurus and Robert Muldoon next to our mammoth and even with this being the smallest of the Dinomania figures that I have here currently this is still pretty big because next to the Papo T-Rex you can really tell that it does have some significant size and if this were from any other company I would be extremely impressed with how large this mammoth is because it definitely is a big figure but if we look into the past reviews of the Dinomania figures the others were even bigger than this much larger which somehow kind of downplays the size of this one but don't let that fool you because even with this being the smallest of the bunch it's still really quite large. So this Dinomania Mammoth is definitely a really, really cool looking figure. It is absolutely sculpted to the max as far as the detailing of the figure goes and especially the hair detail, the fur detail is really, really nicely done. And the way they've included that nice dark wash, honestly, I think is something that everyone should do when it comes to the way they would paint a mammoth because it really makes the entire thing just look so super shaggy and really makes the fur detail just jump out at you so much more than had they just painted this with a pure gray. I think it wouldn't have looked near as nice as it does, but that dark wash really shows off all the sculpt and detail included within. But the fact that they have painted it with that light gray is one of the more appealing factors, I think, of this because, again, I've never really seen too many mammoth figures portrayed with a grayish color or images or illustrations or anything of mammoths being portrayed with a grayish coloration so the fact that this one comes in a grayish color is really cool definitely a breath of fresh air and quite different than most i think that the sculpt overall looks really cool as well definitely a nice pose as it's just kind of walking along maybe letting out a yell or something to another family member maybe it looks very very happy the face almost looks like he's smiling he's the happiest mammoth i think i've ever seen the trunk sculpt also looks really cool and i love the fact that they've included the pink inside the trunk and the really nice pink inside the mouth and the fact that they've included a beautiful gloss coat on the tusks of the mammoth also are extremely cool i think it really makes the entire thing so much more realistic than had they not included that and then of course the fact that they have that kind of glass eye effect for the eyes also helps to add to the overall realism of the figure so as far as i'm concerned this mammoth is definitely one of my favorites from the dinomania line that i have currently in my collection and I absolutely intend on reviewing more of these Dinomania figures in the very near future but as of right now this is all of the figures that I currently have in my collection so these Dinomania figures all of them have been extremely impressive and hopefully some of you have ordered some of them you'll have to let me know how you feel about them when you do in fact receive them if you have ordered any but regardless if you do want to order any and have not yet Make sure you head down to the description as I will include a link to this mammoth on the Dinomania store. And also make sure that you browse around a little bit, pick up any of the other very cool Dinomania figures that they have for sale currently. So once again, the Dinomania line, definitely really, really cool and super, super huge. I have been very thoroughly impressed. So make sure you pick up one of these or many of these very cool Dinomania figures, but also make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.